You see? Not really. Oh, 16 degrees, yeah. 16. Wow. I just remember that a, a few days ago, I'm not sure I'm in Berlin, but I'm, sh I mean, you tell me, but here in, in, in Turingen, in, in Turingia, like a little Turingia. bit south, south of, of, of Berlin, you know, we had minus 15 Celsius. Yeah. Minus. Also, we've been having minus, minus three, four, six, seven, ten around Berlin, not in Berlin itself, but around it. Incredible. And anyway, yeah, it's it's so. Do you agree, Wakar? Thanks for for telling us that, that Pakistan also has the four stations and stuff. But do you agree that uh, climate plays a factor or no? I mean, can you be happy uh, uh, every day? I mean, how can I uh, phrase it? Let's say, can you be happy also in the winter? Or I mean, let's say you want to do something and it's cold outside. How are people in Pakistan? Are they depressed or are they always happy? For example, what do you say? You're on mute. You're on mute. I'm not listening. <laughs> You're on mute. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. The people try to stay in their houses, in their yeah. warm place. They're uh, like they don't. They don't like to go outside because it's cold outside, and they're not adapted to that weather. If if you have to go outside, you all you obviously have to take a car with the heater, of course. If you have a bicycle, or if you are you are, you are on the the motorbike it's not preferable to go outside in the winter yeah and but they usually do the, 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 the things in the daytime when there is a sunshine or the daytime when there's a there's affordable temperature they used to uh, commune in the daytime but in the night i don't i don't think they did not go outside uh -huh. so yeah. so it does play a factor or in other words in other words uh Bakar, are you happier in the summer than in the winter I am more happier in summer, not in the winter. <laughs> the, reason, the reason behind that is I have to travel 80 to 90 kilometers a day on the bike. So the chill wind that flows through your body does affect your health also. So that's why I do like the summer weather rather than the winter. The chill, the chill weather, I don't like that. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes it's good. Up to an extent. So, so it does play a factor. Wakar says yes, right? And oh, Lorsi, I watch one. I just wanted to say hello, Lorsi, but she left. And um, anyway, uh, but what is your opinion? So Nani is sleeping probably. <laughs> so how how we gonna wake her up? I don't know. Um, we can call her attention. Nani, are you there? So I can't hold believe your ears it. like this. Go, go like this with your ear. So you know, go like this. So I can whistle. Okay, go like this. I'm gonna whistle. Hey, Nani! <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. I just wanted to. Uh, yeah. But you know what time it is there? Probably, yeah. probably night. You know. Maybe they have. I know, I know. She's in Indonesia, right? Yeah. Let me check. Just a second. Mm. Andrea, you see what I'm wearing? What I'm wearing? Uh, you're wearing a poncho. Well, we call it in Colombia, Ruana. A poncho, Ruana, lo mismo. Ruana. <laughs> and, and what is this here? Sombrero velteado. Velteado. Huh? This is, I brought specially for my... My talking about Colombia, you know. Oh my goodness, it's good to why, know. Why do they call it volteado? Because you can. Uh, it's, this is the look. This is the uh, this like is this? the head, and you can do like this. And this is volteado. Yeah, but I've heard that they make the name out of the the doing that is like. Round and round and round and round and round. And round. Can, can you can you do this? If you cannot do this, is not original. If you buy me a new one, you know, <laughs> no, it's okay. Look, no, like, really, well, no, but that's the point. You can you can put it in your pocket. You can do this and you put it in the pocket and you we are and you you bring every everywhere. Uh, if you allow me, I can buy an original Voltiao for you and I send to you location in Berlin. You put it in my pocket then. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> With the loudness from Patrick, for sure. <laughs> no, Patrick is very strict. Patrick will not allow anything. He doesn't allow even to look. He's strict. Lossy. One second, sorry. Lossy. How is it going? Prende la vela. Prende la vela. Prende la vela. Prende la vela. Patrick, I have a student to teach right now, so I will join you back after 30 minutes, but I am. No, no, hay energía. No, we are gonna start in 10 hey, minutes. Baca, no, why are you leaving? Right now we have a nice presentation about happiness. I thought you wanted to be happy. <laughs> I have a student who is waiting for me. I have to take him, so that's why. Okay, okay. go ahead. See you later. We Nana, how's you it going, Nana? Minutes. We wait for you 20 minutes. Okay. 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes, come on. Let me, the, Jaime, look, this is La Vela. La Vela, yeah, I know. So we have uh, Nana. One, one second, uh, my friends. Let's say hello to Lorsi first. Lorsi, good to hello, see you. Hello, Lorsi, hello. Lorsi is also, the queen. Lorsi is the hello. queen of Cartagena, you know? Cartagena wouldn't be the same without Lorsi. Yes. And, and then, then Lorsi speaks German. Yes. Lorsi speaks German like at the Cotorrita Cartagenera. Oh my uh, God. And uh, Nana, we have Nana here. Nana, can you say something? Is that your name, Nana? Sandra. Yes, hi. Hello, yes. Nana. Nana, where are you from? Hello, uh, I'm from Malaysia. Malaysia, <laughs> that's great. Malaysia, oh my God. That is, that is wonderful. You know, I was in Malaysia in 2014. I was there. And I really loved the train because we, we took the train all the way from uh, from Singapore almost, right, until that island. Uh, we went to an island and then we went to Kuala Lumpur. And the train is fantastic in Malaysia. I love it. <laughs> but just just um, as um, some some input. What what part are you from in Malaysia, Nana? Uh, I'm from the east side of Malaysia, but now I'm studying in Johor, which is near to Singapore. Wow, you are lucky. I mean, I really love Malaysia. I mean, I was like that. You can see many cultures there. People are all different. And uh, it would be so nice, you know, f just for you again, Nana. I think it's your first time here, right? Actually, actually, no. Is I, I have what been here before. Oh, you have been here. Oh, okay. Sorry, because you don't <laughs> share you don't share your your camera. Maybe I don't recognize you. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. <laughs> uh, so you know what's going on here. We we tell stories, you know. And you know what? Um, if you like Nana, if you like, uh, I always or we always have free spots. You know, every Saturday is a different person. It would be so nice uh, uh, of you if you could, you know, talk about Malaysia and and all the different cultures living together. Would you do that? Maybe are you interested also to to be a speaker? Yeah, sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll see if I have time for that. Thank you so much we, for uh, inviting me. Of of course. I mean, it's 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 not uh, necessary. I mean, it's not like an obligation or something. But most people they join because they want to improve their English, and and one mm -hmm. one way of improving your English is actually doing some presentations. You know, so. Uh, it's actually it's learned by doing right so i leave you my number right nana you have my number right but i leave it again because i have a new number and that's the german number okay, so sure. please please write send me a message and say patrick really uh, I, I can do something but not maybe not not next week maybe in two weeks three weeks because malaysia i mean i'm a big fan of malaysia really honestly <laughs> i think people are wonderful and uh, they welcomed me and so here's my number one okay, second. thank you so much. Here's my number one. I forgot uh, one more number that is uh, 176. Here we go. Can That's I have your number two? Or it's only <laughs> for special people? <laughs> <laughs> you can have my number as well, no problem. Just just copy. <laughs> but, but don't call me, yeah? But don't call me. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, yeah, you know, I was in a, in a different chat and they said, uh, um, you know, a lot of people sometimes call without um advising and stuff and and and, and that's not uh, the thing you know when when you want to make a, a phone call for example to, to someone you don't know 
then uh, you know you should uh, kindly ask him uh, like writing a, a note excuse me can i talk to you my name is this and that and uh can we practice english or something who knows right but some people they just do like this call me right they, they write the message uh, call me that's it like i would be uh doing that uh, strange so what we have to do is we have to have manners no manners is we have to introduce ourselves you say hey we are from this and that and uh and then we can become friends you know a lot of people want to sell something or who knows right and that so we, we don't know each other and so, so we have to take care uh, of security right anyway but here we we are safe so we have storytelling <laughs> so welcome nana would be nice if, if i could see if i can see you do you, you don't have camera nana just like for 10 seconds nana no. uh, well i was in, i i mean my I'm in my dorm right now, so I can't really open my camera. Sorry. We don't care, you know. We we we, we, we are really. Uh, <laughs> we I mean we we are open, but if you don't feel comfortable, no worries, right? Of course. I mean, it's uh, some people say uh, I cannot show my face because I'm I didn't put makeup or I can show I, I I'm in my sleeping uh, and my pajama or something. But you know we are easy going. Anyway, this is uh, a pyjama but, party. Yeah, but maybe hopefully I can see a picture here. So I I think you know I've I've seen you, but um, it's okay, no worries, right? But it would be nice, you know, because um, it's also uh, 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 when someone uh, shares the 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 camera, it means that there is self confidence. There is like, hey, I'm Nana. This is me. And I'm a happy person, so let me share my story with you or something. But you when know, people I, don't... Uh, ask, ask, ask Lorsi because I've never heard Lorsi talk in English, you know? Yeah, Lorsi, okay. He's always talking anyway. German with an American accent, you know? Okay. No, I mean, I, this, is, this is not my first time. I stay with you in, in Cali, remember? And this is time. Now I stay in Cartagena de Indias, Colombia. In this what? moment, it's not energy. <laughs> it's very it's hot there. Energy. It's very hot. Yes, very hot. You have air condition Sorry. on? Yeah. Nine. This moment, not energy. Energy kaput. Ah, you mean no electricity? Electricity, yes. Uh, energy means that you have no power. But electricity, you have no electricity? Uh, <laughs> no electricity. So we have to drink the, the beer house warm? Is we have to drink the, 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 the beer warm? In the, no, I, I don't know, in the neighborhood, not electricity. Te estaba preguntando que si nos toca tomar la cerveza fría, entonces calientica, ¿o qué? Sí, in this moment, yes. <laughs> Lord, sí, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, I have seen the news in Cartagena. You are suffering different kinds of, uh, like, not electricity, a lot of water on the streets. Uh, like, is it chaos in <clears throat> Cartagena? Is it right? Nine. No, no, no. This moment, the, the, the company uh, repair the the uh, electricity okay, but no it's, it's, it's the bad news fake news cartagena fake is news. very good um i have heard i have heard in the center of cartagena the police is controlling controlling uh the city no no prostitutes not a child yes, not yes, yes. money on the streets it's really good si, si. Sí, sí, very good. This is this is new government is mm -hmm. uh, controlled. The police, the police, um, the center of the city is control absolute. It's very good now. Yeah, awesome. For, especially especially defending the 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 young girls. The young yeah. girls, and the yeah. kids, and the kids, the yeah. kids, the kids. Yeah, right. Yeah, got it. No more questions. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I'm, I'm, before we start, we have one minute, yeah, and then we start with uh, our uh, presentation from Jaime today, our, our special guest. And I'm just going to uh, 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 send a, a message very quickly. So welcome, everyone. I hope um, I hope you are fine. Uh, happy New Year. <laughs> and so one second. OK, yeah, so we are ready. I just sent um, a little note here on our chat. And yeah, so I, I, I would say, um, uh, let me introduce uh, you to, to, to some uh, very nice special one men. moment are you going to are you going to 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 film yeah. to I, I, yes yes okay yeah so I also I also uh, um, you know I will uh, record I, I'm I'm str I'm streaming right now I'm streaming on YouTube and uh, and that that will be recorded so you can always see that session on YouTube and that's that's the fun thing. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm paying Google every month, and and that is one feature they they offer, you know, and basically the idea of that uh, space here is to 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 get together to 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 talk about life experiences, uh, to heal ourselves, to inspire each other, to motivate each other to uh, raise awareness of uh, our global situation right now uh, let's say basically we don't want any wars right we we don't want any conflict so here that space is made for that uh, to to have uh, to to be together in a peaceful way right peace should be our first uh, goal let's say <laughs> and that's why we're here everyone can be a speaker everyone can say something uh, I, you know, everyone has a voice, and if there are any questions, we can also answer any questions. But basically, every every session, I have a special guest, right? And uh, and today the topic is happiness. Basically, every every uh, every session there is uh, it's connected. Happiness is always there. Everyone wants to be happy, right? But uh, some people have already achieved it, and some people are still looking for it because when you are when you are twenty years old. You don't know what to do in life, even 30, even 40, let's say. And uh, that's why I'm really, really happy to have Jaime here. Jaime is not 20 anymore, so he has uh, he has had some life experience already. And that's so he would like to uh, transmit those experiences to us today. And let's see. How, I mean, not let's see. Let's say I'm, I'm sure we will learn something from him, you know. So anyway. I would give uh, Jaime the word now, and I just close. I zip. I zip. I zip my. <laughs> I won't talk anymore. But yet, yet Jaime, you can also. Um, uh, I mean, we can also ask questions, right? It is. Yeah, not, I would like. Uh, yeah, so. Thank you, thank you. First, to say thank you very much. I'm wearing this uh, Colombian hat, you know, and the uh, and the Ruana, just to make you feel, you know, that I have the, the Colombian. Colombian shirt here so yeah you know you never forget that I am a Colombian guy I'm German Colombian but I like to share uh, as you said some of my experiences and in order to do that I will share my my screen and uh, you know I I don't know exactly how long it's going to take but I'll be very very honest if you don't no understand something you can ask but try to keep the flow so I go through the program. It's a lot of it. I was thinking about, and so if you have questions at the end of it, it would be better. At the end, if you have any any comment at the end, it would be better. I was thinking that I am almost seventy years. So if you give me three minutes for every ten years, I will take maybe twenty minutes yeah, to talk. Okay. So whatever I want to make it as 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 fluent as possible. So if you have any questions, something is going very quickly, just tell me to stop, you know, just say stop and then we can, but comments in general comments, please at the end of the, of the session. So I will, I will, uh, um, I will give you my, my, my screen and I hope you can see it and I will go through it with you. And let me tell you that when Patrick told me to speak to you, I was very, very happy for that 
to be able to contribute to something that he's doing very, very well. It's a fantastic space that you created. Patrick, congratulations. And I thought of doing something completely different, but Patrick insisted and said, no, we don't want to learn something just about what you want to know about your life. So you are going to listen to me in a very um, egocentric way, the way I see things. But I am aware that everybody is different. It's only going to be about my way of doing things. And I am aware of the fact that I've been very privileged to having such a life. I mean, I know that many people have to fight with other different, very, very different situations to, to live. Uh, I've been very privileged to have a protected childhood by my parents, loving parents, very inspiring, very loving parents. My father was very strict. So at the beginning, I thought I put one of these three titles what do you think makes my life so unique and wonderful to me or how helping needed people became my passion or love gratitude and awareness are the fuel to my enthusiasm for life so there was my suggestion but patrick is the boss and patrick said i should use this one here <laughs> so i'm talking about my path to happiness so this is a very very private way to to get to happiness uh, well, it all started in Colombia. That's here. That's me. That's oh, wow. me. That was the last photo. The last photo we took as a family with my father, my beautiful mother, my two beloved brothers. And just before we, we left uh, Colombia for Germany. And that was one of the first photos was taking me uh, making an apprenticeship as a cook in South of Germany. Um, so wow. We are all many me's. So it's only it's not only one Patrick, the, it's not only one Lorsi, it's Lorsi, the businesswoman, it's Andrea, the happy lady dancing, it's Patrick, the working person, it's everybody is different. So I'll show you some of the facets of my life. That was for a, me during one of the trips to Paris when I was young. That was my one of the pictures taking um, an apprenticeship as a cook. That's a recent photo, maybe three years ago, teaching what I love to do. And that was when I was a cook for a multimillionaire in a yacht. This was in Dublin. That's so I, I became, I became, a, 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 how you say, a very self-confident young man asking this millionaire to pay me four times as much as he was being paid for a cook in, 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 in London. And he did, you know, so it was a great commitment um my secret is not really a secret you know for a happy life and how to become a successful personality so i said there are two very essential facts first find out what your passion really is about so think a lot about your passion what makes you passionate and then become serious about it create a strategy around enjoying and contributing to your passion you have to give food to your passion be serious about it it's your life nothing out there is more important so invest in it with discipline and constance so working hard so i will show you how i did it working hard investing in with discipline and constant into my life so this is you don't have to read everything. It's just a, a, a small path on, on my professional way. I was an assistant career. And you know, many young people are always ask how to get money. So that's what I was writing next to what I was doing, how much money I was getting or not getting money or whatever. Okay. Yes, it's been recorded, Panga. Okay. Uh, so the first job I had was being an assistant to a cashier in a hotel in Bogota getting no money, making an apprenticeship as a cook in four different restaurants in the south of Germany, very little money. Being a cook in London, best hotel at the Savoy and two exclusive clubs, being a chef was very little money. Being chef for a multimillionaire in his yacht on the Mediterranean Sea, that was really good money. I mean, really, I was being paid four times as much as a cook in, in London at that time. But I was the only cook for the family. We were in the Mediterranean Sea, 
and I had to go and do shopping in French, go to the French market and get the food and so on. And I became also after that a butler or a waiter in a playboy club. I was little money. Then I, gave, I went to the hotel management school in Heidelberg for two years. No money at all. I had to pay for it. I used to work on weekends to, to get by. After that, I went to Berlin and had five different positions in, in some hotels. Receptionist, assistant manager, night manager, sales representative, and assistant sales manager. So very little money. But then it comes to being a sales and marketing director in two international hotels in Berlin. Good money, good experience. I start traveling like hell. Then I became managing director of a hotel. I brought this hotel from zero stars to three stars to four stars to four stars superior. When I began in this hotel, it was not classified. It didn't even have one star. And after I left it 16 years later, it was one of the, the, the leading hotels in, in Germany in, in, um, in that part of the business and it became a four-star superior hotel. I had very good money. And for a coincidence, it was just an incredible coincidence, I became a consultant, trainer, and coach. And then I was getting good money. I said, great money. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it that people were prepared to pay so much money just to, to, to hear my opinion. But it was wonderful. So that's me nowadays. What a change. So that's me having fun with people going to museums, or that's me when I'm working. Okay, so this is the two, the, there's many different personalities that are in a one person. Hobbies, engagement, and initiative. Traveling, traveling has always been like Patrick. I love traveling. Many of you love traveling. So the first traveling I did was when I was an apprentice at that time. When I was an apprentice at that time, I was 15 years of age and I had this picture in my mind of the, of the um, Tour Eiffel. So I went hitchhiking. Imagine hitchhiking, being 15 years of age with my brother to Paris. And I saw the Tower of Paris. After that, after my apprenticeship, I went to London. I packed all my case, went to London and worked as a chef four years in London. And from that time on, it was a lot of traveling. So I invest most of my time and money in traveling because I love to travel. So these are all the places, or more or less the places I've been. It's not for you to read. It's just to get an idea, you know. All these places in Europe, North America, Asia, Africa, South America, and Middle East, you know. Places I've been really happy to, to have experiences in. Some of them just... Just to get an idea, Florence is one of the utmost places I've ever been. I love to be with one of my favorite in Europe because of the the incredible the incredible um, history about Florence. Art, culture, history is incredible. Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Rome, Istanbul, some places you know. Abu Dhabi, Dubai. Uh, Ciudad Perdida. Many people of Colombia have never been to Ciudad Perdida. It takes you maybe a three days trip to go up there walking. And then and then it's, it's amazing. Brussels, uh, again, Sydney, New York, Singapore, the China. I've been, I've been to Beijing four times. Once on my own, once with every of my child and once with my wife. So I've taken all the people I I, I, I love a lot to uh, to just play. So this is the um, the Mesquita in Granada. This is the Taj Mahal in India. So I've been to all these wonderful places. This is again in Florence. This is in, uh, uh, um, what's it called, Alhambra. This is the Colosseum in Rome. And also Hawaii. So this, I, I've been very privileged, but also I'm, tell, I'm telling you why I'm telling you, though, because I invest all the money I had in all these things. That's what I'm saying. Enhance and invest in your, in your passions. Hobbies and engagement and initiative. So music and culture is a really passion for me. For example, I love classical music. So imagine listening to Beethoven, Johann Sebastian Bach, Leonard Bernstein, Mozart. I just love, and I've been privileged 
to have listened music from the most famous directors, musical directors in the world. I, some of them I even met personally. Herbert von Karajan, Sergio Sabo, Claudio Abado, Bernstein, Barenboim. With Barenboim I've talked, you know. So, you know, it's just a value of life. For example, going to a place like this. Look at that. Look at this beauty. To listen to a concert in this uh, Palau de la Musica um, in, uh, in Barcelona. It's beautiful. Or entering the 16 Capel. So I'm just telling you that traveling is a very, very important part of my life. But traveling would be just half of it if you just go shopping to the places. When I go traveling, I try to invest my money. And, you know, I save a lot of my money. I, I stay in very, very simple pensions, hotels. You know, I eat in the streets, but I go to musicals. I've been to all these musicals, listened to all this opera. I've been to these pop concerts, and I've been to the most famous museums in the world. And I spend a lot of money. You know, when I spend 10 euro for a museum, it costs me a lot of money. For me, it's 10 euros is quite a lot of money. But what happened is, I'll be there before they open. When the old door opens, I'll be the first one to go in. And I'll be the last one that people see, the security say, we are closing doors. So I've been to all this beautiful museum. And honestly, if you see this list, I could tell you a story about everything of is listed here. Working hard and enjoying it. I mean, it's important to enjoy working hard. It's a lifelong apprenticeship. You will be learning all your life. So to me, studying builds your brain, helps you make money. Working gives you experience, helps you get money. So these two on the top, studying and working, I aim to get money, the power of money. But you would be like this, you know, this guy running behind the dollars, not happy. Culture builds your heart. And these two things up there, studying and working, give you the possibility of doing things, but the, the possibility of enjoying it is only with your heart. So culture builds your heart and makes you um, able to really enjoy. So working hard, hotel manager, I've been a hotel manager and a management consultant. I became consultant by coincidence. So that was the hotel as I left it 16 years after. The, one of the most beautiful well uh, spas in the world I've, I've ever seen uh, in a medieval uh, style renovated, a very, very beautiful North, uh, North German house with a beautiful, I mean, very, very successful hotel. And even, you know, I put all my ideas, all my dreams. You know, when I first drove in front of this hotel, when I was becoming a manager there, I saw this house and I remember this, um, this um, what do you call Märchen in, in, in English? Um, Märchen. Um, this, fairy tale. this fairy tale about Hansel and Gretel, there was a house with cookies on the on the top, and I imagined that, and I made this come true. You know, I make the the decoration for Christmas for this house for the hotel, and actually, my my whole family lived here. These five windows there, and the windows here. That's where we lived. We lived there five uh, um, sixteen years, and I also had a fifty he fifty four hectare uh, wild park to take care of. So some of my hobbies are, for example, sculptures have always fascinated me. When I go into a museum, I see pictures, I love it. When I see pieces of art, I love it. But when I see sculptures, I go crazy about it. So for me, drawing and stone carving is like a like a hobby. You know, I keep, you know, I keep, you know, the programs in the museum and the, and the concert. I keep drawing in them, so I forget to take a paper. So just to show you what I do when I go desperate to, to be drawing. And sometimes I take a stone and make something out of it, out of my imagination. Cool. And, yeah. and this stone is maybe, yeah, this, this stone is maybe eight, 10 kilos heavy. And you know, I made this stone out of my mind and I'm very happy about it. Also this one, which is the king. I wanted to make a king that is 
marked by responsibility, by the experience of life. And I made it out of stone. I'm very happy about it. An incredible experience. And you see this sculpture here. I saw the piece of the piece of of, uh, of stone. I could do something behind it. So I did this 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 uh, this face, and behind it I made uh, this nude uh, uh, nude uh, uh, piece of art. Okay. After all that, and for the last eight years. I've been a voluntary social worker. So teaching and coaching for no money at all. I've been I've been rejecting receiving money for eight years now. And what I'm doing, I work daily in a refugee camp, in many different refugee camps. I do online events, I do coaching, training workshops, I create learning materials like the YouTube channel, for example. I have a second hand chain to prov um, provide people with the things that they need. The people in need, they need, for example, things for the kitchen or things to wear or things for the school of their children. So I provide with them. Very, very easy for me because I have the connections. I work a lot for and with uh, homeless people. I, I do two or three actions a year with them. I organize art therapy. For the for refugees, it's a very very well uh, good uh, way to um, to get rid of frustrating things. And uh, I, I participate a lot in, in cultural integration, organizing, um, going to to concerts. I go I go with refugees and volunteers a, a month, approximately between five and eight concerts a month. So I organize, I explain them to them, I go with them and I enjoy the concert with them. Also, what Lorsi likes a lot, I politically engage to help Colombia society. I do a training, I'm doing a training session, for example, for the city majors and district administration candidates, for the candidates, I was training them, still training them. I'm also training farmers and their associations. And I was the national electoral referent for whole of Germany, so I was responsible for for the for the um, for the polls, you know, with a voting election in four cities in Germany like Berlin, uh, Hamburg, Stuttgart, and uh, and Frankfurt during the last elections. So teaching I mean, one, and one question. can I please one question, Jaime? Yes. Can I? Can you go, go back? Ahead. Go go back again. Just this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was wondering, and that is the that is the fun part always, right? Uh, you know, to understand people, the why thing, you know, why you, what you are telling us right now is uh, your, your life, right? What you did, right? You, t you are telling us you were uh, the manager, the hotel and this and that, and this and that. So, so uh, let's say someone who doesn't know you, I know you a little bit, right? But someone who doesn't know you might ask, uh, Hey, Jaime, strange. I mean, you made good money, right? Why did you stop? And what what made you stop? Uh, what made you change? Can we can what we keep you... this question? Can we keep the question to the end? Because I I, I will come to it. it it's okay. Plan. Okay. But but, right. but if I, if I missed an answer, remind okay. me of it because I, I I think it's a very important. No but no problem. Mainly, mainly speaking, very generally speaking, is because my father and my mother gave me an example. They never taught me. They never told me you have to be good to people. But they were a very good example. They were always very socially engaged. And I know how happy it made them. So I was looking for happiness. So I did the same. And I was so happy. I said, I can, you know, I had a Jaguar, uh, uh, a Jaguar a car. And I said, I don't need this. You know, I sold it. Uh, I, I start buying only secondhand uh, stuff because I don't need all those things. You know, I, I wear, you know, 80% of the things I wear is secondhand. So, you know, I enjoyed a lot. So, but I come back to your to your to your question. So, teacher and coach with lots of fun, creativity and enthusiasm. That's important to have creativity, fun, enthusiasm. So, you some some people. This is some some these are some pictures while I'm teaching. Some people say, "Oh, you sacrificed going to." No, I don't sacrifice. I go to enjoy myself. So it's no sacrifice. It's a lot of enjoyment. So now the, the students from the university made a, a, a YouTube channel for me. And nowadays I have more than 420 videos on and, 
and more than 1,300 subscribers is incredible for me, you know. Um, there you find a lot of a lot of material to learn how to teach, to learn German, to learn about German society, and also some interviews that I have been uh, told to give. Uh, that's, for example, this picture means a lot to me. This picture was uh, when the first course I gave ever in my life to refugees. It took three months and all of them, all 35, all, not even one didn't pass. They all passed the A1 and it was fabulous for me. So I called a friend of mine and said, I want to invite them to a musical and that was the picture taken there. So now we come to your question. So <laughs> are you asking yourself what's in for me? Want to take a piece of advice from an old man? Okay. <laughs> Make of your life. So fasten your seat belts. Now it comes okay. the, 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 the recommendations. If um, you don't have to take them, it should be just an, an, uh, uh, an inspiration to do things maybe a little bit different or more or whatever. But this is my, my recommendation. Want to take a piece of advice from her? Okay. Make of your life the most wonderful piece of art. Your masterpiece. But how? First of all, get used to working using clearly defined, concrete, measurable, and reachable, but demanding goals. This is the most important page. Get down to your goals. Write your goals down. Be very clear about it. Don't say, I want to lose weight. Tell me how much weight you want to lose and until when. Don't tell me I want to get uh, good money. Tell me how much money until when and how, okay? and never give up there comes yet yeah, now comes the the and uh, the, um, the spices that goes into this meal curiosity life is like an onion with a jewel inside imagine you has an onion in a jewel inside you know una cebolla con una joyita dentro okay find out why surprise yourself what you're able to do with your talents you know whenever you see people paying a lot of money for a very stupid picture piece of art find out why they are paying so much money for that when you see people going in the winter to a classical concert find out why they go in the call to, to, to this concert what makes it when you see people tasting wine find out why it makes them so fascinated about it enthusiasm is a power bank full of energy and motivation find your enthusiasm never try to impress someone else. i've i've heard so many guys in your groups uh patrick Halimi, how can i impress a girl how can i impress my boss how can I impress people around me never try to impress someone else you'll become superficial you'll be making a show the only person you should do your best to impress is yourself awareness everything happens there be aware if it wasn't within your awareness, it just didn't happen. You, you, talk, you could go to a party, you are not aware of it. You are eating something that you are not aware of it. You didn't do it. Love, I put it red and in big letters because it's the essential of everything. Everything that we love helps you see the chocolate side of it and making the best, the very best of every situation. Create and celebrate a daily loving relationship to yourself. Enjoy having a love, love affair with yourself. You know, I put this in small letters, fewer the security advice in an airplane. Remind you, when you go into an airplane and they keep the security advice, you will notice they always said, if there's a lack of oxygen and a mask will fall off the ceiling, what you do? You take oxygen first for you and then you take care of your children. You first do and then you help others. So if you don't love yourself, I not able to love others. The amount of love that you can give to somebody else is limited by the amount of love that you feel for yourself. I'm not calling about selfish. I'm not telling about egocentric. I'm telling about appreciate all the items of your, what God has given you. Gratitude is deeply shared love that multiplies at no cost at all. So gratitude is one of the most 
motivating things in life to me. My favorite place in the whole world is home is where my love is. I've shared 45 incredible years with my wife, Ingrid. I have two sons, 35 and 30, Flo and Toby, whom I love, love dearly. Uh, this is my brother Carlos. I came with him to Germany more than 50 years ago. This is Carlos and Walter and me when we were younger. This is my youngest, Toby. This is my wife, my eldest, and his wife. And this is the wife from my brother. So this is my little presentation. So thank you for listening. Thank you for putting up with me. May you all have a blessed life. Thank you very much. And I have some bonus. I have some bonus program for you. If you want me to, I will show you later. Thank you so much. But remember, Jaime, uh, the party yeah. is not over. It's starting. It's going to no. start right now. Right now, the question come. The questions will come. So we just started. Okay. <laughs> well, your first question was, your first question was, Patrick, why? from earning very good money i start helping people well first of all yeah I, I i've always been very social engaged even when i was a hotel manager i had two two children uh, uh, um, centers in colombia that we were giving money 15 years long and i initiated for example a homeless a homeless house with with the with the um, furniture of the hotel we were going to renovate so uh, i took this this whole beds and televisions and mini bars and all, and went to a to um to a, um uh, how do you say cluster cluster, cluster. I, I i forgot the word church? cluster church no not not church where the nuns live uh, um, um don't know right now uh, where the nuns live, the institution where, where nuns live. Um, yeah, they... I don't know. <laughs> no worries. Convento, ¿cómo se dice convento en inglés? Un convent. A convent. I went to a convent, convent. And, and, and with the nuns, we started with all the furniture from 21 <laughs> rooms that we're going to renovate. And you know, when you renovate the rooms of a hotel, you have a budget. And part of this budget is getting think of the getting the old things out and destroy, transporting them and destroying them. And I used this money instead of that for the nuns. And I said, let's do it with some students. I put some jeans and t-shirt on and we start bringing these things to the convent. And we initiated a homeless uh, uh, living place for homeless people with the 21 rooms that have been existing now more than 20 years. So, you know, to your question, I look at my passion and my passion has always been helping people and if i can do it full time by reducing my needs a little bit I, I you know i have everything i've been very privileged i don't need to go to fancy restaurants when i was hotel manager i went to the best restaurants in the world i went to the best hotels in the world now as a private person i go and eat a platform somewhere in the AK, you know and i i'm happy i eat uh, a maltation or i eat uh, whatever a little piece of bread and i'm happy so i have very very little needs for money thank mm -hmm. you so much interesting go ahead erica question now let's have some questions here erica you raise hand hello good morning everyone uh, yes morning. well i agree with you in the sense of happiness but for example for example I used to have a sanctuary for homeless dogs. The problem, the problem about me is that, for example, I hadn't most enough money to us to keep on my project. That's made me frustrated. You said, uh, "Do what you want to do, and to we don't uh, don't leave the project, but." some things at some point is the reality against the fiction so for example that's my idea is depend on where do you where do you live so you have money so as to get your goals but the problem here is i don't have enough money so as to get my goals i get frustrated i get lost and i said 
why if I have a project and I want to do it, but I don't have the, the money so as to keep it on, no, so. Well, to be I very honest, it. to be very honest, I, I, I really, you know, uh, as I told you, I was, for example, the first 14 years of my professional life, I had no money, very little money. And 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 uh, to be honest, you know, at the beginning in Germany, I, I stayed, I slept three months under the bed of my brother, hidden, because I, I didn't have money for, a, for an apartment and he was sleeping in the in in, the, in his uh, in the in the heat working place so i started also just when i came to germany I had a little suitcase that was all you know so yes uh i've been i've been privileged as i told you at the beginning to uh, to have this life but i don't think and oh, let me say it this way you need the things that you need for yourself i you know the oxygen you need first to take care of yourself so you have to take care of yourself once you have taken care of yourself it's always possible to and even if you don't have money it's always possible to help it doesn't have to be uh, aiming to have a, a completely new universe the little smile that you give to a person that is homeless the little help that you make carrying a bag the little stroke you give a child i think everything is help so it, it depends on your in which dimension you want to do it and I think uh, money is needed, but more needed is heart. If you have the heart for it, you okay, find yeah, the creativity, right. yes, yes. creativity to find the ways to get people organized. Sometimes you don't even need too much money, you know. And honestly, I'm not giving money nowadays only for two institutions as a year round. I'm not giving money. I'm giving my expertise. I'm giving my time. I've given my heart. I'm giving my 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 time to the people which is the most valuable thing that i have to give okay awesome. thanks i think andrea wants to ask something yes andrea has uh, raised her hand andrea i will show you that i'm wearing the colombian uh, football shirt you know it's especially for you <laughs> thank you so much i do not have uh I do not have the the national colors. Uh, besides that, I have um, a dress I have bought in Germany for ten dollars. <laughs> and this always oh, with me. <laughs> Good, awesome. Uh, so the question is, uh, how can I become part of your volunteer programs in Colombia for Colombian people living in Colombia in the capital, if it's possible to join or if uh, as something I can do for for this uh, um, yeah, ex uh, this uh, all that you have mentioned about that you have political relationships with Colombia even when you live in Germany I would like to know how can I be become part of this also uh, I would like to know if I can work for volunteer programs for arts you know I have a special condition and I have been in hospitals and one of the most important things I have known is the art part i am creative because i i am a female i'm open to new ideas i am open to uh open to teach people for example people who cannot be uh free um for example uh you know there are a lot of women uh, who are in the prisons in colombia with no injustice uh, not not real uh I would like to say, how can I do something for those well, people? Actually, I, I've understood your your, your question, uh, Andrea. If you want, you have my my WhatsApp number. You can um, important when when it comes to organized helping. When it comes to organized helping, you know, it's important to have a certain amount of continuity. You know, it's very difficult to help if you do it now and then. You can do it as well too. But if you want to become mm -hmm. engaged in doing some. You have to know which time, the amount of time, and, and, and at what time you can involve yourself. And knowing that, for example, you can do every Monday uh, an hour 
or every weekend, two hours or whatever, you know, knowing when, then I can give you some tips on how to get organized. But also, I, I have a lot of connections with uh, with Colombian politicians, uh, politics, uh, agrupations, and uh, sometimes it's just finding an idea, you know. Now we have campesinos, you know, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, farmers in Colombia who for the first time in their life, they can get money off the government. They don't know how to do a word document. They don't know how to do a PDF. So I'm sitting here in Berlin and teaching them somebody in the Amazonas jungle and somebody in Arauca and somebody in Guajira, which is amazing. And I can teach them how to do a word document, how to do a PDF, how to do a PowerPoint. But I'm also teaching, for example, uh, politicians. You know, our politics have become new in, in Colombia. We have new politicians. Mm -hmm. They have no experience in politics. And I found that it was a, my idea, you know, it was just my idea. I said, you are not very well prepared to propose, to make a proposal in a way that's understood and that will convince people. I can show you little communi communicational methods and way in which you can convince people. And so this is a great help, you know? And art therapy was also an idea that I go to galleries and I went to galleries and say, hey, you have a big room, big space here. Can I have it two times a week? What do you want to do? Yeah, I want to come with refugees. What do you want to do with refugees? I want to give them some colors and some paint. And so I got a specialist. And so we had art therapy. So sometimes you don't even need money. You need to go out and convince and get together with the people. So Andrea, if you want, let me know what you can do and I will get you the connections. Thank you. Uh, Any question? Excuse me, Andrea, where do you live? I live in this street. Okay. In Great. Germany? In Bogota, Distrito Capital. Distrito. Ah. <laughs> okay. Distrito. okay, my friend, thanks so much, Jaime, for your explanation and for questions. We still have questions, you know, remember, the topic is uh, how to become a happy person, you know, what is happiness, you know, for some people happiness is to drive a Mercedes Benz, but, you know, and Jaime said he doesn't need luxury, uh, for example, but uh, he, he was working in the best hotel in Germany and yes, there was luxury, right, so uh, sometimes, you know, we are exposed to things and then we don't actually want it. And now he's helping others and i think it's a fantastic story but everyone has to uh, see what uh, everyone wants you know and you know patrick when 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 i was working for luxury hotels i was earning very very little money so mm. it was a very very sick situation that many 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 employees in hotels have they see the luxury they see how people get on with with food and with luxury with expectations how much money they have but they themselves, they go back to their homes and they have very little. So it, it was the same to me, you know. So mm. honestly, I've been very lucky, but anything that I made out of, I have $150 when I came to, 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 to Germany. That's more than half a century ago, 54 years ago, in a little case. The rest, obviously, I always have people to help me. Always people help you. There's nothing you can do without people help. But the rest of the money I did with my own hands in my own head. So, uh, and then you can say what you want to do with it. Because there is one, uh, one, one, one call here saying, uh, okay, uh, when, when, uh, if you have a home, a car, and money. Well, I, before I didn't have a home. I didn't have a car. I didn't have the money, uh, products for your family. You are really in the position to help us. I think. It's true that you can help more, but even when I I didn't have any money, I was a student, I was a school. You can help you in a in, in any way. You will find a way to help, uh, but it's important to help yourself first. Uh, Labib wants to ask something. Yeah, Labib, go ahead, Labib. Thank you so much for the chance. Uh, can I get an opinion uh, from me, uh, Mr. Jem and Mr. Bradley? Go go ahead, uh, okay, Labib. Okay. I think uh, Mr. Jem is very interesting experience. It is um, make up inspire for me. Like even though uh, the money is is important, but we can help uh, without money with 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 uh, 
what we what we have like maybe skill i want to share that you know that uh i am uh i have i have my junior high junior college when they uh fight to writing the uh, the last uh, the last mini thesis you know so i just give instruction to to them that 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 is free for them so when they uh don't get uh, the i mean guider from the the lecture and they want to get the second opinion i give opinion for them so it is like one of my way to make our happiness to each other you know so uh, because i think uh, we can make a uh, happiness happiness it, it is uh, even talk a small thing it's like give a feed to the dog give feed to the cat it because i have heard from this cat that they are the hormone you know the serotonin and 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 the and dopamine dopamine it uh, something like we can, I can give a sample when we buy something, it, it it will increase the dopamine and the 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 the, the, the uh, satisfied is very little bit and it is a while. But the, the serotonin, if we give uh, the, the charity, you know, like maybe the poor people, we give like the food, like the the, the t shirt for the suitable for them, and it will make happiness in our our heart you know it is it's my opinion so i just uh, did my best for my uh gift uh like for the my junior school I and mean, i look in the in the poor in the people they 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 need they need like for the food so i, I just uh, give like for the like uh, uh 20 uh 10 10 dollars and give it uh, to, to, to them i think it is what 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 happened in me. i i i'm i'm happiness so i think the first thing is uh it's we have to dealing with ourselves because when we have dealing with ourselves we without any affiliation and we have altruism you know altruism is we give but we nothing to lose you know it is it, it, it will be happiness but first we have, we have make a uh, feel uh happiness for self yes so i i, I agree with uh, uh mr jam that they did a, a, a best that uh the uh i mean like making a, a volunteer and help to the refugees so i can one example again because indonesia has many disaster you know like uh, the, the the volcano and like the earthquake so indonesia always uh, the people is give like charity give the support from the the the, the, the body like so it, we help each other so it is like one of the culture to me to us to help when the the, the weak people and when the the, the people has a disaster and to give the the, the, the physical and the the the, the mental uh, supporting so i can i can i can make sure that the happiness i uh, just give a, a small thing like give the food like for the plants to give the water it will make our 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 brain has started to increase and as uh, even if we smile in the in the right person they will maybe maybe they have said like depression and we like give heart it is it be happiness i think it's my opinion thank you Mr. patrick thank you thank you labi thank you very much yeah it it uh, i think it happens something in your chemistry in the in the brain and in your if you feel satisfaction about giving but you ha we have to take care of not being how do you call uh not not feeling superior to the people that were helping uh i you know when i was in thailand i saw that these monks going al along the road and this way uh, with with the uh, with the shell and people were putting food or money in there and somebody told me they never say thank you you have to say thank you that you are allowed to help and i love this idea i don't know if it's true but i love this idea that you know people say thank you to me sometimes i say i'm i'm happy if you feel grateful but believe me i feel as grateful as you you know lorsi is in one of our uh, of our groups and people are always so grateful and so thankful and they write to me and say you know i'm also so happy you make it possible because with a with a group from lorsi we've been meeting maybe for two years or something i don't don't remember to lorsi maybe two years so five times a week and and and, yes, and, yes. and people write wonderful things to me i say it's it's, it's us it's you that make it possible hmm? lorsi yes yes two years ago uh, I need you, and and it's safe because you have any anybody everything you have. You are very good people. <laughs> you are <a> good person. <laughs> but I, I I must say something. Patrick Patrick said to me, unconditional giving. 
that is not really correct. I I put conditions, the one big condition I put, if you really need the help or you want me to make your job, if you want me to, to clean your diapers, I'm not there for that. If you want to fool me by being um, in that moment selfish and making me do your job, I'm not going to do that. And if you don't, you know, people who appreciate help, they don't pay for the help. They don't say too many times thank you. They behave grateful. And behaving grateful when you help somebody is making something out of this help, you know? You know, people say, oh, can you help me get a job, you know? Say, yes, I help you get a job. How are your papers? Oh, my papers are a disaster. Okay, I help you doing your papers. But when I start correcting it, when they start giving me papers for me to correct with foolish mistakes that they could very easily with the, with the Google, you know, correct. So they are making me make them. So I tell them off. I tell them, this, this is not, this is not joking. This is a serious thing. I like to help but I, like, I don't like to be taken as a fool. I have too little time to, you know, to just to do somebody else's job. And honestly, I found out many, many people, they ask for help. They are not ready to receive help. They are not ready. They are ready to receive presence, you know? They want to give, you get a job, uh, you get a job, okay. Shall I take you every morning to the work? Shall I wash you every morning? Shall I feed you every morning? No. They are not ready and they are not thankful, but they do. Oh, I'm so happy you are helping me. Show it to me. Make the best out of it. You know. So I'm uh, I'm not very much for unconditional helping. I am for very very um, committed helping. So when you come to me and you want some help, we get committed with each other. You are committed to what we're doing, and I'm committed what you what you're getting out of it, and we are committed both. Then it's okay. So, you know, este, si yo entendí bien, me corrige, o sea, que ellos te están diciendo que no necesitas dinero para ayudar, ¿verdad? Tú les traduces a ellos ahí para los que no me entiendan, que, que tú muchas veces, o sea, a las, acudimos a ti por una orientación que no tiene precio. She's, she's, saying, she's saying that you, uh, um, that we are saying money or not money to help, but many people, she says, come to me for the need of an orientation, of, of an opinion, of uh, an advice, ¿ok? ¿Sigue? Ok. Sí, que esas ayudas de verdad que no tienen precio, o sea, eh, si, que el dinero no puede, no, puede, no puede hacer nada. Entonces, es, las, es, las ayudas... Es, realmente advice, cuando, cuando... advice that nobody can buy, this is a favor that nobody can pay, this is something that money, is, money can make, ¿ya? Yeah? ¿Ok? Sí, que a veces, sí, que a veces uno necesita hasta simplemente que lo escuchen y tú estás ahí para hacerlo. Y eso no necesita dinero para ayudar a la gente. Thank you, thank you. And she okay. says that uh, some people, uh, so, sometimes it, it only needs somebody to, to help by listening. And she says that I'm always there to listen. And uh, yeah, I'm happy uh, to, to be able to, it's a privilege to be able to help, you know. If people are not committed to me, you know, Lord, she knows this, you know. If people don't commit to what we're doing, you know, I have other ways to make you work. <laughs> okay. Any so, more questions? Thank you so much uh, for that interaction. And uh, I always say a lot of people ask, you know, uh, I need help. I want to learn English. I want to learn German. I want to learn Spanish. So people uh, ask for help, right? Because there are many teachers here as well, right? We are all teachers somehow. And I think it, this has happened to you, right? Some guy comes up and says, hey, 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 Rihanna, I, I know you know English, right? Please, I need English. Can you help me? So what do you say? You say, yes, I can help you, but 80% it's on you. 80% is on you. I can, I can guide you. I can give you some classes if you want. But if you don't do anything, if you don't read, if you don't do homework, You will never be independent. That's why uh, I, I wrote it down, autonomy versus receiving help, you know? So you have to be autonomous. You have to be autonomous. You have to be strong. You have to uh, search. You have to help yourself first. If you really cannot do it, then of course you can look for help. 
but also there is also a thing in people's minds which is wrong you know a lot of people only want to uh, only want to receive help and so here's the question to everyone when was the last time you have given and when was the last time you have taken i'm sure many people remember the last time they have taken many taking taking yeah yesterday you go to a shopping center and you have two for one right two for one oh it's just one price but you get two so you take advantage right you you get it so we always look for advantage but hi, hey how about giving and that is getting lost in this society you know and and, and people like Jaime that's what he is here for to make us aware yeah of our conscious Hey, Rihanna, you know, uh, one of one one of the uh, Rihanna and, and Andrea wants to talk, but a little a little thing I want to say to that. One of the most incredible learnings I had in my life is my father was driving a car, and he said, "Oh, my old teacher from the school when I was young, that was 50 years ago. She lives here nearby. We have to go. The whole family has to go there in the evening." just to pay her a visit so he can give her a little money. And my father, when he was a hotel manager and he became pensioner, when we go on holiday to the same place, to Girardot, he always had a list of all his staff members. And we go two evenings to all the houses of the humid, very, very humilde people, very, very uh, poor people. We go to every place to say hello, to have a drink with them and give them a little money. And my father did this until he died 50 years ago. And so what, parents what? are always models. Parents are models. And basically yeah. we are children and we, 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 we uh, uh, suck every information, everything we see as a child, it's, we, we suck, you know, like we get that, we and, inhale. And, and parents, and, if you have good parents, then it is 99% that you also are a good person. If you have good parents, it's not uh, it's not likely that you are a bad person. Let's say, right? So if Jaime says his father did that, he saw it as a child. You know, that's that's very logical now. So uh, they're, thanks they're so much. Very good example. Rihanna, go ahead. Rihanna and then um, Andrea. Rihanna, go ahead. I have already write it there. I have already written in the oh, chat. Okay. You can. Mm -hmm. Okay. What did you say? Uh, <laughs> Abraham helped oh. me on the 15th of December. I had an open lesson. He was online on my lesson. Wow. It was sensation for guests. Wow. That is wonderful. <laughs> I it, didn't know. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. basically, we uh, we had the, uh, uh, open class and happened. And it was a challenge, you know, involving transport, every kind of transport, airplane, you know, ships and so on. And the, it was a game. The kids were supposed to go from Kazakhstan to Brazil. And use whatever means to arrive there. And uh, during this lesson, I was invited. Yeah. And uh, at the beginning, you know, <laughs> it was so funny you know, because I introduced the test. Like I was, I was asking for help. You know, we had a, the, the the reward for for me was a chocolate. The kids they were supposed to bring the the Kazakhstan chocolate. I ha I think I have already uh, around here. Oh yeah, it's not real, but you know, it's kind of what we made. It. Can you see this? Oh wow, that is so cool! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was very sensational. <laughs> thank you. And really, it was really help because uh, because it was uh, it was night for Abraham. It was night, and it is daytime here. And anyway, he didn't leave and help. But really, it was. Thank you. <laughs> this is really yeah. Help. So. It's uh, it's all about giving and taking, as we were mentioning, right? So all this moment I was gi given, actually. <laughs> yes. So the kids they could arrive on Brazil and bring the Kazakhstan chocolate. And at the end of the class, I said, "Yeah, guys, I received it. Look at this. Woo. <laughs> you accomplished your mission. Congratulations." Yeah. So it, it I have to say pleasure. something very quickly before Andrea goes ahead. You know, I, I just wrote in the chat. You know what my happiness is? My happiness, my Patrick's happiness. Uh, and I, I wrote down seeing people happy. And right now, that example of Abra and Rihanna, that is my happiness. <laughs> and that, that is fantastic, you know. This is so cool. Yeah. It, it's so cool to see 
that that you guys uh, you know you you became friends and 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 uh, that is like speechless you know that's what we are here for as well you know to make connections to bring people together right to <laughs> that is so cool that is my happiness and you know so i didn't do anything let's say but uh, uh, you know so if if everyone uh, i i also know apra he he is doing uh, meetings and he is putting a lot of effort a lot of effort i know in in the storytelling chat you know he's like hey guys let's talk about this hey guys this and that and no one answers because people are busy blah 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 but he goes ahead and he he continues and you know but that that big heart the big heart right uh, you can feel it and that's already something uh, you know it makes me happy to see that to see that and and to i can feel it and that is so wonderful and and we don't need anything else in my opinion this feeling of happiness is bigger than a car really it's bigger than a car <laughs> or or a house <laughs> because it's that feeling of of joy this you smile you go ahead and hey and, and abro and rihanna are together at this moment and for me that was uh yeah, and this is why we're here, you know, to share uh, stories, you know, and of course uh, the stories, they don't have to be happy all the time. They also can be sad because sad stories help us to grow, right? The sad stories help us to grow. It doesn't mean that we have to be fake here and only shiny world, shiny, oh, everything is fine. I'm ah, ha ha ha, right? No, we are here to, to cry as well. <laughs> so, so, so if you, if you have a sad story, we can also sure. share, you know. But, so uh, Rihanna, Rihanna and Abrao, your first child you call Patrick, please, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so anyway. But hey, Jaime, Jaime, uh, you know, it's very important. Listen, guys, very important, uh, you know, what is your happiness? Find out. You have to find out. You have to find out. Uh, people don't know what makes them happy. So you have to find out. You have to try things. You know, be a voluntary guy do a session become a host uh what else you know help an old lady cross the street or something but, because... but uh, patrick patrick let let me say something about this uh finding out i i call it find your passion right. and invest invest time invest time in finding out what makes you inside really happy in a long term don't don't get fooled by ideas yeah like helping somebody Cross the street or where if it helps it depends okay but it's not important what helps jaime or what helps abrao what helps Mar maria what helps you what makes you happy and many people as Peter say don't really know don't realize are not aware of it and they just look right left and right and they do as others do no don't do that do find out what makes your heart go boom 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 what is the thing in life that you will leave your bed at three o'clock in the morning, go out in the cold, you know, without food, without shoes? What would make you run for it? That's it. Okay. Sorry, I think uh, Iqbal, Iqbal wanted to say something. Iqbal, Iqbal, Iqbal. I don't know yeah. how to say the name. I think it's the same. I, I saw a face right now. I think it's the same. Yeah. Iqbal, Iqbal, Iqbal. Yeah. How are you? How you say your name? We don't know how to say your name. Well, Ma Maria Sorry. has the microphone on. Go ahead, uh, Iqbal. Or, or I, I think your name. I, I recognize your 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 face. Same, right? Same. Yes. Go ahead, my friend. Good to see you. Yeah. There was a question from Jeremy that he is saying we have to follow our passion. But my question is, if we are struggling from money, how we can follow our passion? Mm. Right. Say, say again, if we are, if we are struggling with money, I'm saying, I, I'm saying that you have, you are saying that we have to follow our passion. But if we were struggling with money, how we can follow our passion? Um. Uh, you know, uh, there are studies about it. This is Maslow, you know, Maslow. You need to have the, the, the immediate needs satisfied before you can fulfill your things. But if you, if you have a passion that only depends on the money, this is the only obstacle, then it's not the real passion. Because 
if it's a real passion you go and get the money for it for some way you find a way to get the money if it's a passion it's something that will give you the energy even if you don't have it now if you don't have it now you cannot do it immediately immediately but if you don't have the money and you have a passion a passion is the battery is the emotion is the motivation to enable you do things the things that you need so let's not misunderstand obviously for some things you need money in life you need air you need water you need breathing you need all these things you need to be warm all the things you need but if you have a passion you will fight to get in the situation that you can do it i think uh, equal what's his name local i don't know he wants to ask again same his name i think his name is same same I'm gonna, I'm gonna share my screen to show you that uh, pyramid that you just mentioned because uh, i love it you know uh, i'm a big fan of that pyramid and it's right Maslow. here Maslow. Yeah. Can, you, can you see can you see it yeah, yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> so, so i i really like it you know it's it's uh, so the question from same you know how can you be happy basically without money right that's the same thing same question patrick i have second more question uh, if you yeah. don't mind uh, yeah. jamie my name is saim uh, sorry to interrupt because i have changed my email because i am in my office okay so, jamie there are three phases one two and three three is one to twenty then 21 to 50 then 50 to 70 and above right yeah so when we are from 1 to 20 then we have time we have no money right we have energy mm -hmm. right at second yeah. phase we have energy we maybe have some little money but we have no time am i right because we are working you are talking you are talking about ages yeah at your age yeah yeah, you have, yeah. 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 at third at third phase from 50 to 70 and above we have too much time too much money but we have no energy if all but, uh, of these what is your question i'm saying that how at what time we have to follow our passion i think because yeah i think because we are struggling from money we are struggling from depression tension and all of these stuffs how okay. we can follow our passion can it can it my mind my name all the time all the time patrick can i can i share can i share can, can you stop sharing so i can share let, let, let me share and I will. Let me tell you, tell you what I think. Uh, so are you Patrick, it's not, it's not possible to, to hear your voice, Patrick. Yeah. Something's happening. Maybe a, a malfunction of the connector or the plug, you know. Okay, Should now. Connect you, and connect. You, your question is, can you Hello. hear me? Oh. Mm. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay. Now, yes, Patrick. Okay. okay. But you asked a question. Yeah, no, uh, Jaime, uh, the question was from Sane, right? Basically, yeah, uh, okay. you know, how, can you, how can you find your passion if you have to struggle with money all the time, let's say, right? Okay. That, that is the question. Just, 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 yeah, I, I, I suggest something. Sit down and try to find out why are you wh what's this money for what is the money that you're looking for needed why do you need this money which amount of money how are you getting this money and try to find a passion about even getting this money if you get a passionate about the things that you need it's going to make it easier to find your money uh, to, to get the money so uh, can you see this picture here yeah, people yeah. people yeah, believe this. people believe you have to go this way like this and this is all your life but i think i think sometimes you are here in some items like for example in sports but professional wise you are here sometimes with your family and 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 relations you are here or you are here and sometimes with your knowledge you are here so it, it is not something that that 
one excludes the other things. So if you had, if you don't have enough money to have a passion, you are doing something, sorry, you are doing something wrong. There's a wrong thinking about, about it. It's a mistake there. So you can get a passionate about things that don't need no money. And at the same time, keep fighting for money. And when you are saying between 20 and 21 or 18 and you are doing exactly the thing thing that I said, don't do it. Don't look what makes people apparently happy. Don't look about what others go into inside you and find out what makes you happy, what makes you passionate. Find your way. Because it's it's a, it's it's good to have a general a general idea of what people think generally at that age things happen but you know with 14 i was maybe more a baby in some things in other things i was more adult so it doesn't really it doesn't really uh it's not as strict what age you are you are more developed or not i don't think that's right does does this answer your question uh maybe uh, i am stuck in the question jamie basically uh earning money gives happiness or giving money gives the happiness Ma maria can you switch off your microphone because it's disturbing maria is coming can okay no Giving money doesn't make you happy, and earning money doesn't give you happy. It is not. It is not linked to somebody you want something you want to do with this money. If it's not linked to, I will tell you a story that you maybe don't believe. In the last ten days, in the last ten days, I had twice this experience that I I always carry a bill of five euro in my little pocket. You know, you know, jeans have a very little pocket. Can you put switch on your mic so we can dialogue? Well, yeah, I know, I know. So, so I use this little pocket always before I leave my home. I put five euro in there, not coins, not coins, because giving coins to people is like, yeah, you know, if you don't have more, I have more than that, so I give a bill, okay? Because it's respect to the people who is receiving. But two times in the last ten days, homeless people, I've trying to give them and they didn't accept money so this makes me think that many times we think money is the key but it's not money only represents money represents is printed liberty is printed freedom but if you don't know what to do with it you can have as much money as you want you won't do it you know and even the poorest person in the world can be a helping person and can be passionate about what you do open the window breathe beautiful air and think how grateful i am you know people survive wars people survive being in a in a catastrophic situation because of their passion for something i hope this answers your your question any any more questions sorry yeah no no thank thanks so much and a great uh, great interaction right uh, uh, awesome and we we keep thinking right we keep observing but also as i always say uh, the goal of of our meetings is not to uh, to create a, a formula uh, like an absolute absolutism thing you know like this absolute formula do this and then you're gonna be happy we can't because um, everyone is different you know <laughs> and um but i like to i like uh, for example sign always has those um nice a doubting questions you know and and that makes it really interesting yeah so so i i i like sime's question each time he participates uh, you know i i appreciate your questions because uh, you know this kind of criticism right and that makes the world go round you know we we want we want that yeah because it, we cannot say everything is pink and 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 everything is just beautiful and shiny right so we have to face the reality and it's true it's true a lot of people are suffering they have no food they have nothing they they are at war right now how can they make someone happy how can they find passion you know so oh it's like we have this conflict you know and, and that's that's why that's why the world is in deep shit i would say <laughs> sorry about the the, the 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 language you know but let's so let's sometimes, sometimes we spend too much 
energy and too much time trying to think about the problem. So, yeah. Sime, don't think about the problem. Think about the solution. And maybe, Sime, maybe if you, if you, I think you are a very intelligent person. Think about the solution. No, no, if I, I'm not intelligent. Say, who, who said to you? <laughs> I think, I think, I said, I'm a human. I think, I think you are intelligent. But no, I want no, to tell I you think, something. Yeah. Sorry. There, because yeah, yeah, you, you, you like differentiating thing. They are uh, very, very critical. Hey, so this shows you know, uh, um, shows shows intelligence to me. But I was telling you, if you if you put all this energy in finding a solution, you will find tonight a passion that needs no money. But be aware of the fact. Be aware of the fact. Some people are afraid without knowing. They don't know, but they are afraid of finding a passion. Because what? What happened? If you find your passion, there will be an impulse within you that will dominate your doing. It's like, for example, somebody loves beautiful people. I met so many young people, love beautiful people, love beautiful people. What happened to this person if he falls in love with a people with a person that is not so, so beautiful? If you fall in love with a person that is not as beautiful as you thought you needed, that is passion. Okay, so I, I I hope to give some some Jamie Jamie I agree with you. Uh, basically, I am saying all of you, you people. Uh, whenever we are young, I have listened too much that we have to follow our passion. We have to follow our passion. Am I right or wrong? You you think the people tell you when you are young? No, no. Everybody. Whenever we grow up, we listen from every person that you have to follow your passion. Am I right or wrong? In all the people, all the participants, maybe I am wrong, but, but I but have probably, this Yeah, but probably they don't explain what it means, follow your passion. Follow your passion, as I said, is being no, no. very serious about it. It's being no. investing in it. Hmm? Jim, uh, sorry, uh, I'm saying that all of the participants, I am asking a question that whenever we grow up, every person listen that we have to follow our passion i am saying right or wrong yeah yeah i think so Go i ahead. think it's right so every person told us we have to follow our passion if we have no money in my pocket i have no food to eat how i can follow my passion I have so my passion will much. probably be yeah, uh, I have listened too much motivational speakers maybe english maybe indian and so on Everyone told us we have to follow our passion. But my question is, everyone is saying you have to follow our passion. Without money, if I am hungry, how I can think about the passion? When I am hungry, I am thinking about the food. That's so your passion. Simon, that's your passion. Simon, Jaime, Jaime, wait, wait, Jaime, Jaime, don't feel, don't feel you have to solve the problem now. Let's get no. uh, the others a chance to talk. Let's go with uh, okay. Nana. Nana wants to say something, and also uh, Eva. I can see you. How, how's it going? First time. <laughs> Happy to see you, Eva, from Poland. Welcome, Poland. Eva, Eva, she lives in in Brazil. I'm sure she has a great uh, a great answer. But also we have Nana. I'm not sure if Nana is still here. Nana from Malaysia. Are you here? Yes, yes, I'm here. Go ahead, Nana. First, first, Nana, please, and then Eva, please. Maybe maybe we can answer things question together, right? Uh, no, the question. Yeah, you know the question, right? So go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, at first, I was I was unsure to actually ask this or not, but let me just explain it briefly. So uh, when I heard about all the um, explanations and also stories from other participants, other members here, I think it was like very mesmerizing. It was uh, great and it was inspiring for me. But honestly, um, I myself don't really understand the concept of happiness that much because uh. I don't know, people might say that I'm still young, that I have a long way to go in life. I'm 20, by the way. And as a student, I can't really sort my own feelings. And um, I don't know if it's because of my uh, busy schedules or assignments and so on that I don't have much time for myself. Or um, whenever I do something, I don't really feel much. And every day is just like a normal day to me. And... Um, what else? Uh, I try to focus on my passion, but it doesn't seem like that much interesting to me. And I try my best to please people as well. 
people around me and I try to give whatever I can and I try to be nice to people but it still seems as though people don't really appreciate it like they just uh, see the worst of me instead of all the good things I've done so people still talk behind my back and even when I try to be happy uh, their attitude kind of don't greet me and I barely feel happy about anything so I keep wondering what true happiness really is and how can we feel happy around people and I was wondering what people might think about this. Very good stuff, you know, and, and uh, I mean, you can, of course, answer, but maybe someone else has also an answer, right? Because uh, remember, it's not that some someone knows everything. Remember, I mean, Jaime has, has a lot of experience, yes, and what he does is great and everything. And of course, uh, you know, uh, I, for me uh, to ask someone who, who is older, it's always a, a privilege because I know that person has so much experience and I can learn, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean that that person is absolutely right because that person giving an answer is only from his point of view. Exactly, so, so exactly. Don't, so don't take it personal, right? So yeah. we have to learn. We have to learn in this world to, to see things uh, in general, like philosophical, uh, you know, this kind of thing. And then you try out your stuff. You try out. And what you said, Nana, I totally agree. I totally agree. I, I wrote it down. People always complain and see negative stuff first. And I have asked myself, why is that? And I think I came to an answer. A lot of people, they do that as an auto mechanism of self-defense. Like, and so why it's a survival instinct. It's easier to complain first. Oh, you look ugly. Even you look beautiful, right? This is wrong. This is wrong. So it's an instinct. We, we are trying to, to defend ourselves because we are afraid of an attack, of a possible attack. If you are too nice, what happens to people if, if they are too nice? They get attacked easily because, oh, that person, he is not an uh, authoritative person or something. For example, in my case, I'm, I'm not authoritative. Sometimes I think uh, I'm, I'm too uh, you know, easygoing. So people attack me all the time. You know, if I would be authoritative, shut up and this and that, people would be like that, you know, oh, sorry, that I wouldn't even say anything. So, so this is also what I'm observing, but I'm not sure if I'm right or wrong. I don't even care. It's just that what I'm observing, so we are all different, right? So let's, let's have a, if Remi I let, let, let me remind you that I, from the beginning of my, of my little presentation, I said, this is my very, very private Hello? opinion. This is only my opinion. This has been... I don't want to be selfish, but this right. is very going from my side. And I also said a few times, you have to find out what makes you, what suits you, what's very proud. But one one little idea that I have, if if you keep doing things, nice things and you are you are may, being made sad by the reactions of people, think about it if you do it because you feel that it has to be done this way because you want to be that way or because you expect a, a, a response if you if you make your happiness depending on the response of the people for you doing you are putting the instance in their hand you don't have the control over you make it for you to control nana that if you are a nice person that you feel satisfied with yourself no matter if people appreciate or not no matter this this shouldn't touch you obviously it makes right. you happy if the people appreciate but if they don't this shouldn't touch you so protect yourself so i was saying never try to impress somebody else but yourself so if you have been a good person be satisfied with that no matter what the other people say i think uh, this lady wants to talk explore, explore yeah. Yeah. thanks so much jaime it's it's great you know it's great and i know you you mentioned that in the beginning and of course um, you know i have sometimes uh, a problem sometimes my own wife doesn't understand me because i'm too philosophical you know when i say something she takes it personal and i say hey that was only something i put in the room don't take it personal <laughs> so anyway let's let's go with eva eva how's it going because you raised your hand and, and it's time for you to speak say say hello please <laughs> hi, hi everyone. First time, yes. Uh, sorry, I just didn't want everybody wants to speak, so I just don't want to be too intrusive. But anyway, if I have a chance, yeah, I wanted to go back to the question: how to follow your passion if you have no money and you have other like really like life issues to solve. Um, obviously, there's no like 
magic answer to, to this. But uh, what I wanted to say, like from my own experience, um, first of all, uh, sometimes you, you, you can't expect your passion to be like fulfilled like immediately or, or soon enough sometimes. I don't know, like I'm, I'm 50 years old almost. And I've been trying to follow my passion for like since I was a kid. Okay. So sometimes it takes a year, sometimes it takes five years, sometimes it takes 50 years to fulfill your passion. Okay. Also, sometimes uh, your passion change. So you want, you're passionate about something, I don't know, when you're a teenager and then you get some experience and it changes to something else or it changes completely. Like for example, I was, when I was maybe 25, well, I always wanted to travel, for example, since I was a kid, I was, was interested about the world and stuff like this. When I was 25, I was working in Poland. I had no money or I had somebody said, you know, either you have time or you have money. But sometimes I, uh, I worked a lot and I had no, no, no holiday. I had a little bit money, but I had no holiday. When I got a holiday, I had no money. So what I did, uh, I just like, after five years working and having almost no money, I just said to myself, I just need to go somewhere. It's just like, I don't care. I borrowed money, I went to Spain. I wanted to go to, to South Spain. And I went there I, and I was paying this debt for, for, for years to come, <laughs> but I did uh, pay it. Uh, but anyway, what I wanted to say, sometimes you need to, uh you, you can't solve the problem on your own sometimes you just you, you need to like catch a, catch an opportunity so you don't even think it will solve your your your, your way to passion but it, it sometimes it does so for example like i wanted to obviously to travel i need to have money and stuff like this i was trying to think what to do so i thought Okay, working in Poland, that will never lead me to anywhere. So I need to go abroad. So I want to obviously to go to the United States because um, that's where people go sometimes to, to earn money. Okay. At the end, I never went to, well, I went to the US later to travel, but I never went to the work. Uh, at the time, like the world was changing and Poland was joining the European Union, and my brother got an idea to go to the UK. So I didn't, I didn't really want to go there, but like my, my sister-in-law, she didn't want, uh, want him to go along. So I said, okay, I'm going with you then. So I went to the UK and basically I spent half my, almost half my life there, but that was an opportunity I took. And that led me to get a uh, good work in the UK to earn money and go traveling where I wanted to go traveling. Okay. And that led to all other things and try and all other passions that I could fulfill. Not only just because I had money, but because I had an opportunity. So my conclusion will be just: sometimes you just need to wait. Sometimes you just need to wait for opportunity. Sometimes you just uh, need to wait for an idea. So sometimes you just need to wait for the to know the right person because that person not necessarily will help you, but will lead you to something else or some other idea. So it's just like you need to wait basically for life to lead you to fulfill your passion. It's not always like the reasonable solution. Sometimes it's just like uh, something hap happening and, and uh, yeah, you just, you can continue to follow your passion and just find it. And to be open, to be open uh, to new things. I know exactly. you, Eva, we have met in person and stuff. I, I, I just know you, a lot of people are not like you. A lot of people are afraid of new things. A lot of people are afraid to take risks. A lot of people are afraid to take opportunities. They just like to follow the system. If you follow the system, and the system is like making money, right? Like getting a study something, getting a job, and then and then you work and work and work, and then you buy a car and you buy a house, and that the, the normal path. But I can see here in Germany that a lot of people are not happy with their job. They have money. And they're not happy. Then I see Jaime, right? I see Jaime, and and Jaime is happy. You know, when a, when a person makes a joke, you know that is that is a sign of happiness. When a person is very serious, uh, of course, it's just an uh, idea. I don't know if it's true, right? But basically, for me, when people are funny and and this kind of thing, 
there, there is this certain happiness inside. The, the, the people who are very serious, sometimes they are, you know, they, I don't know, they have this tunnel vision, you know, and I think we should open up. We should open up and try new things. That's what you did, Eva, for example. I, I just know you. You, you. you opened up, you tried new countries, you learned languages, blah, blah, and then you find your passion, right? Uh, I think it, it's simple, but uh, probably not for everyone. <laughs> so, you know, it's go ahead. Simple. I, I, have, I have an idea just to, to, the, to, the, to the situation with Saim, and, and I have an answer that I'd like to talk to Abrao. First to Saim, I would say, how much money will it take you this evening just to get your most favorite drink and go into the dark and put on a candle if you want and just think about what your passion is? Even if it's not money, if, it, if it's not, it will help you get the money. If you don't have a passion and you're just running behind the money because you think you need the money, and obviously you need the money for something, but that is not a passion it's going to be more difficult and it costs nothing to sit down and reflect what could i be passionate about what could give me this battery what could give me this, this energy this motivation and this will find a way to to find all the things you need in order to fulfill it but if you are just getting money for what 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 is what is that is moving you to get this money what needs are making are you passionate about about your needs or are you not passionate and i think just reflecting about it is very helpful um abrao wrote in a group uh, in our task uh, uh, a question that i think is very latino what is worth dying for <laughs> what is valuable to risk your life for think about that investing in it you know i i love to listen to this because i think this this uh this question or or this sentence is used a lot by latinos we are ready to die for liberty we are ready to die for this idea why don't you say we are ready to live for that because dying is very easy you are gone and that's it you are ready to live find out what makes it worth living for not dying for I mean, it's just it's just a little thought, you know. I'm ready to die for liberty. No, you want to have liberty, so you have to live. I'm ready to die for my son. No, I want to have my son and be happy with him. I want to live for my son. And living is sometimes the most difficult way. Yes, Thank that's you. right. Get busy living or get busy dying. Choose life. Then... Dan is here, man. You you came in late. You 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 missed all the whole thing. But anyway, you are here, and we have to celebrate. <laughs> How is it going, Dan? It's going. It's going. Happy New Year, Patrick. Happy New Year, everyone. Awesome, awesome. Yes, uh, actually, time is over, but I will it's, do some. It's fourteen. Some over, some, some it's over 14. time. What? I, I, Are you saying Happy New Year? I am saying it is fourteenth. <laughs> Happy New Year is gone. <laughs> I mean, he wanted to wish uh, everyone a nice, uh, uh, successful uh, year. You know, no, uh, it's, for, it's for still many... it's still early in twenty twenty four, right now twenty twenty three, right? Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, that, that is actually the thing you know what are the wishes of everyone and i'm sure those secret wishes for everyone i mean in in, in most brains is actually making money that's that's in every brain and, and and right now you don't find you don't find uh, people uh even here i came back to germany after 30 years let's say and i thought i'm gonna see my friends hey do you think my friends want to see me no do you know why they don't want to see me? Because there's no money in it. There's no, there's nothing in it. There's uh, like, there is no uh, interest. They're, they're only interested in my making money. <laughs> like uh, for me, uh, I'm, I'm laughing. I don't take it personal, right? But for how them, do you know? I'm. How do, you, how do you know? How do you know it's that? How, how do I know? I mean, uh, I, I can feel it. And also, I mean, people don't say it. But I have talked to some friends, of course, some friends I, some friends I have seen, you know, but, um, you know, everyone is too much in, in, into the system. There is too, too much involved in the system. And when you are too much involved, 
let's say you make you make a lot of money it's it's said uh, like my friend for example he is uh, in the wine business no whiskey business you know he had a party and i i i i, I called him i said happy birthday you're 50 and we have uh, we have done school for for four or five years together we were like classmates and big friends and i said happy birthday 50 years my friend how's it going i'm back in germany hey what's up you know what he said oh patrick yes uh great you know uh, some guests are coming now already uh you know let me call you back <laughs> so he was not interested in 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 me and anything else uh, rather than than his business friends that's so what I, I, I that's what he told me so so the i question, feel the question yeah? is uh, the question is are they really your, your friends then uh, I, for example but i don't take it personal i know question. yeah but the go ahead what? Yeah, I think we have to be very carefully when we are choosing our friends. Yeah, I don't know. The thing yeah. is, I don't take it personal. I mean, everything has changed in Germany. Uh, people have changed. It's not like, of course, I mean, and I was away 30 years, 30 years. And so I left in the 90s. Now we have 2024. So uh, I, I cannot expect them to be the same and say, hey, let's have a beer and, and just be and, cool. And you and know, you know what, has, what has changed a lot, what's really changed a lot? yeah you know what what you <laughs> of, of course we change i mean yeah, everyone because, you know you change a lot and they change a lot but you know sometimes maybe maybe i think that we are at our best when we are not distracted you know when you are not distracted that's why meditation and reflection is such a good exercise when we are distracted and probably your friend was distracted and maybe in the evening he thought oh shit you know patrick is back and i just i was so busy and uh, maybe he's he's just distracted by all this doing i know that's yeah? why i don't take it personal Jaime. i i just i'm just saying like, like for example i observe and but i don't take it personal i know we will meet i know we will give a hug each other and 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 talk about life but in this moment he was uh, he was taking care of business and and that's what people do nowadays i mean can you can you see any what's the interest here now why people are connecting right now there is no money involved but i i think we have a lot of information here we we make friends we can we can learn something we see people talk we improve our english there's so much to do here and and some people don't connect because they think there's nothing there for me money wise you know uh, because i have been inviting my german friends and my my friends from from the united states they don't connect they just don't connect because they think uh, no there's uh, i don't know you know so it's but I, each time we have the session, each time I, I, I leave the session happy, I, you know, because I learn. I can see Juanita's smile, for example, then Jaime the jokes, and then yeah. all those life stories, you know, it's just beautiful. So for me, it's, it's, go ahead. It's just like Patrick said that uh, people don't want to connect. I also tell people about the storytelling. And this is what makes me happy every time I'm connecting with all these wonderful people from around the world. And um like my sister she's working at the bank and uh, i've seen that uh, like patrick said they don't want to talk to you they still like making money she's she's got her own business and everything and the whole time she tells me whenever i ask her let's go and sit somewhere let's go and have a multi i want to take off she would say no i'm busy i have to do this and it's it's always about money you know and never about uh, just sitting talking like this I always tell her when my mom comes here, I would always tell my mom, just sit, listen to what I'm doing. And it's important, you know, this is important. You share information. We are all different, but still we are unique. And yeah, that's an amazing part of that. So thank you, thank you, Jamie, also for sharing your story. Wonderful story. Beautiful. Thank you for listening. Thank you for giving me the time. <laughs> <laughs> Jaime is the most <laughs> humble guy I've ever met. You know? <laughs> That's happiness. Awesome. It's beautiful, you know. And we are already over time, you know. But, and I can see we are still more than 20 people. And I can see uh, also there is um, an Andre from, from Russia. Andre, can you hear me? Andre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. What's up, my friend? 
What's up, my friend? Where, how is life? Where are you right now? Where are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm in Armenia right now. Are you in Armenia? Okay. I, I just want to know, uh, you know, I'm happy that you are alive and everything is fine. So that, <laughs> that's the happiness for me, you know? So. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy about it too. <laughs> <laughs> because I haven't seen you for a while. So, and then when people come back after, let's say three or four months or something, and then I say, oh, that is as Juanita said, right? Uh, happiness for me also is when people come back and say hello, or I mean, that kind of uh, online friendship, I think it's worth it. I think it's nice, it's valuable, even if we have seen each other, right? Even we have sh shaken hands, but it's real right now. We can see each other, right? So I think yeah. there's something to it, you know? So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to say something? Say something. <laughs> and people are still coming in here, but. Um, Anyway, I don't so, know. Like there was yeah. a talk about passion. Like uh, guys, if you if you don't know what's your passion, just try different things over and over again. You don't like one thing, try another one. Just if you spend your life not trying anything, you will never find your passion. Yeah, I mean that that's it. To open up, a lot of people they just follow the rules, and that's. I mean, I don't want to actually be. I don't want to judge. You know, judging is not a good thing, I guess. But uh, what can I do? I, I come to Germany and I see everyone is following the rules. You either stick to the system or you cannot live in Germany. There is no other way. You either stick to the system, you follow all the rules, or you don't exist. That's my uh, what I realize in Germany because in Colombia it's a different thing. Colombia is somehow it's it's uh, everyone is kind of uh, open uh, let's say I mean smile more smiling not they don't observe you here in Germany they observe you they they look they, they start here and then they, they look you know what you you're wearing and how you behave they kind of observe you so it's a strange thing but I don't want to judge you know judging is not the best thing but anyway <laughs> so we have to open up our minds try out new things and if you fail then you fail. But who know, who cares if someone is uh, there when you fail? Because we are all afraid of failing, right? And someone is there and then uh, saying, you know, oh, this guy, ha, 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 he failed. We are all afraid of this. Who cares, you know? So go ahead and, and as, uh, as Will Smith says, please fail. That's what he says, please fail. Because if you don't fail, you have never tried something new, right? That's, that's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> there are a lot of things you can do without money you can start drawing something like get a pen and paper just start practice you can do a lot of things without money so lack of money it's not an excuse yeah but you know what Jaime also i mean uh, 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 same right same was asking actually i think i know also same he was asking uh, how can i find my passion uh, while I'm struggling with money. I also think that Sime meant no, that um, that finding your passion and helping others, let's say, like, for example, finding your passion and then also converting this into helping others, right? Because finding your passion, uh, it's Patrick? not that difficult, right? Yes? Uh, I was saying, I was also listening about uh, five minutes ago, uh, your conversation and Jamie. Both of you are saying that uh, uh, I want. I want. Uh, I want to just share that this is the problem of our inner side. It my means to say that I have single penny. If I are, ha I if I am happy from my inner side, I will be happy with single penny. And if my inner side is not happy, if I have a millions of money, I cannot enjoy it. Some people say that uh, I have. Uh, listen, right? So there was a hero you can say an actor who has a lot of money lot of everything he has but he's suicide why he suicide because his inner side was not happy mm -hmm. so we are thinking about i am i know that passion is better but if our inner side is happy mm -hmm. we can make our happiness with only single penny if our inner side is not happy and we have a lot of money we cannot enjoy it most of people have a lot of money, but they cannot laugh. And the second thing is, if we make our inner side strong, then we cannot care about other people's. And uh, if you are earning, then giving will you 
may make you happy if you are earning and you are thinking about yourself one of my mentor told me that you have to follow my rule or my uh, rule that you have to feed the birds you have to feed the animals these things will make you happy you have to feed the people you have to think about them don't think about that you have to earn money and you have to just earn for yourself Thank we you. need money to survive that's that's true we cannot uh, skip it right in Jaime for example I I was wondering let's say if you invest so much time to help others I'm sure you have uh, saved money otherwise or you have invested money because living with living without money or living uh, just helping others let's say it's not possible right so I'm, I'm sure you yeah, have yeah, saved I, 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 you know you know one one of the I, sometimes you do things in life and after you reflect and you find out why was i doing this why 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 did i do so many things in my life and one particular thing in my life that's that is a very essential thing why i do things i was always looking for freedom mm. i was always looking for the freedom of choice i was always doing things to be free and even even if I, you know, if my employee was bad to me, I went kamikaze. I went to them and quit the job, even if I don't. But I was free. I decided on my freedom. And I, I, um, uh, as an as an in, in instinct, as an instinct, as a young man, I found out for myself after I, as an old man, I analyzed why. But I found out, and that that's also a, a, a valuable advice if you want to take it. Become really good in something you can become really good not just good really good and then mm. you are free because if you are become the best you can be in whatever profession whatever thing you are then you are able not not the employee will choose you to work for them you will choose which employee you want to work for and being free for me for example if, if, for example, an employee was, uh, um, my, my boss was strict to me in a way that I didn't like, I was free to say I leave. But I was only free to say I leave because I knew I was good enough to get a job where else. So put yourself in the, the situation, put always yourself in the best possible situation to be free to choose. And if you stay, it's your own will. And then you will be doing the best out of it. And so don't make don't make passion or happiness dependable on anything else not money not food not reactions of people not uh, the mentality of the people you live with not the weather don't live uh, it's like the instance the instant the authority on your on your happiness has to stay with inside you work inside you and uh, you will see the reaction outside there then you find a way, huh? but you cannot be, you know, can't be, uh, uh, um, you cannot be childish about it. Oh, I want to be happy and this is going to happen. No, this is not being intelligent about it. And that's, that I think is an appeal to everyone who finds uh, um, a condition for not being happy, trying to put away these conditions, to change the conditions, you know. So one of the things I, I love to say is love it change it or leave it so what you do you must love if you can love it try to change it so that you can love it it's not possible to change it and it's not possible to love it leave it do something else invest your love invest your passion in something else thank mm. you thanks Jaime one of, so now let's have an uh, official applause for Jaime come on here <laughs> because May I was our, Jeremy. hey was Jeremy. Our, uh, I mean, May summarize your conversation. Today, today he is a, a official special guest, but usually he is always a special guest. <laughs> Can you summarize the conversation of Jamie? Yeah, Jamie, yeah. I, I, in my mind, you are saying that we have to win the heart of a person. Don't win the person, right? Kind win of. your own heart. Win, win your own heart. Be, be. Yeah do everything my, that my means to say you are saying uh, you are teaching us that we have to win the heart of the persons don't try to win the person right this is your saying to us 
Well, I, I'm not really not. I'm not saying that. I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying. Uh, first of all, let me tell you something. And um, my opinion of teaching and learning. As somebody said, teaching is just to show that it's possible. Learning is to find your own way. So I'm just showing you what things are possible. If you come with a little case, you are nice. 40 years of age, you don't yeah. speak the language, you are not used to Germany, you come here to Germany, it's possible to reach a life like I did. It's possible. But can, can you repeat that? Wait a minute. Please repeat the same thing. Teaching is what and learning is what. I, I liked it a lot. Can you? You know, this comes from from uh, Raisin a Compostela, uh, from, uh, from teaching pa is, Paolo Coelho. Please repeat. From Paolo Coelho. He said, he said something. Teaching is showing that it's possible. Yeah. Le okay. Learning means finding your own way to do it. Awesome. So Great. it's possible to be happy. I'm showing you that it's possible to, to, to quit with a lot of things. You know, I have the best reasons in my pocket for how I become addicted to drugs, to be in the street, and everybody will say, oh, who are you? You had no parents in Germany. Oh, you came into Germany when you were 14. Oh, the weather is terrible. Oh, the people are cold. Oh, you didn't know the language. They will always agree with me if I had become addicted to drugs. So, you know, I did what it was possible for me for my pet and still i'm very very grateful and i know i am privileged for having had the opportunity to do these things you know also uh, before i leave i have to go my 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 family is waiting we have to do shopping but uh, anyway thank you uh, officially jaime thank you but i know you're always there and 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 thanks for your input and and, and learning and we learn a lot and uh, that it's always great it's like i always leave with thoughts and happiness and, I, and when i heard the story of rihanna and abrao that was for me happiness pure happiness but i also wanted to ask you guys you are still like kind of 10 people or something right but you know i think uh, is it possible could we make a meeting could we do a meeting um and the topic uh, with the topic how to uh, how to handle criticism like you know how to handle uh, criticism right because i have observed that a lot of people we don't know how to handle criticism and that could be a nice uh, nice uh, session next time who knows maybe someone wants to do it maybe someone wants to prepare for it and then talk you know for example andre would you go would you do it <laughs> I'm just saying you know could be an example but uh, how to handle criticism because you basically what we are doing always uh, repeatedly right we always say how we have to do, how we have to be, how we, what we have to do, giving advice, do this, be that, you know, like learning is this, this is that. And then we have some stories maybe, okay. But what I'm looking for also is this drama thing. Like someone tells us a story where he has or she has fallen because of taking risks. Fallen, 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 fallen. And then maybe cut up again. And then, and then we can, you know, uh, talk about criticism how hard it is to 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 receive criticism and how hard it is to to deal with it because basically we always want to show off most people want to show off you know i did that i'm the best and this and that and then you know we tell stories and and, and basically we are all afraid of failure and blah but to get to the real point you know like dealing with anger and you know just an idea yes uh, uh, rihanna uh, go ahead <laughs> but I write it down. I, I will. I would like to say thanks a lot for everyone, to everyone for joining. Thank you, Jaime. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> Juanita. I will be having. I, I'll have to leave too. Thank you very much because we have we have a meeting in a few minutes. Just a few seconds. I will stay. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you, you know, everyone. A lot of learning. Many hugs. Uh, uh, Rihanna is, is presenting something, but uh, what is it, uh, Rihanna? <laughs> I just uh, see your screen, but you are still searching. You can't hear you, Rihanna. <clears throat> and um, no, but is, there's so much learning in this life, so much learning. But I've realized that basically we all have big egos. We we all want to be someone in this world. And no, we want to say I, I we are good people. But the real thing is, how can we deal with criticism or when someone hurt us 
or, or family problems sometimes, or when you fight with your wife. You know, I want to get to the point sometimes, and I want to solve those kind of things. I'm just my personal thing. Go ahead, Rihanna. Okay, I want to, uh, I will take only five or minutes or three minutes. Uh, I want to learn you how uh, to teach you how to make money. For example, every country have got like budget, you know, budget, budget. So, for example, here you are writing Google, for example, I'm writing Gozakop. It means government trade. From government trick, RK. RK, it means Republic of Kazakhstan. I am now opening the budget of my Kazakhstan. So you are opening that, and it is tender, you know, tender, T E N D E R. Who okay, knows I, about tender auction? Uh, uh, but I have it to is, go. It can is you, like you with, example, I need to go, right? Yeah. So okay, we, okay. You can stay I'm, on, my friends. Go ahead, and, and I give you many hugs and, and greetings to all everyone and uh, peace to you <laughs> ciao okay bye, bye. Okay, so yeah bye patrick bye bye so so it is like so it is like this you can you can check well, how much money your government have got now uh, has got nowadays and for example of course uh, your government building uh, some sort of buildings, schools, uh, fixing roads, for example, yeah, and all of this costs money. And what your government doing? Uh, he makes lotos, lotos. So, for example, this is my cabinet. It is like, for example, you are writing like this. So you are entering to there. Uh, and electronic design. Have you got in your country electronic design? Hello. Uh, do you, Do you listen yeah. to me? Do you hear me? Yeah. I, I can so hear okay, you. it yeah. is like this. So electronic by by electronic design, you are coming in here. So in here, a lot of lotos. So for example, you are poised, poised. It means searching, searching. This is or in Russian, and that is why it is not in English. But it is the same searching, and there are a lot of uh, works for this year. What your government are going to do? And one work you can take yourself. Understand? For example, this is this is um, uh, like this do you see this is prices all of these are prices it is in tenge, it is in our valid uh, and this is for example what is it uh, to do doing cleaning cleaning like washing uh, design building and it costs three hundred Five thousand tinge. For example, I can do it. Yeah. For example, I have I have no job. I can do it. I am taking this one, and I am saying not not for like this money. I can do it. Is more or less, and I am as uh, um, I am offering my uh, amount, my um, numbers. And that moment, whose number is lowest, that person will be winner. And that moment, for example, I will show you what kind of rewards I have got. What what kind of lotus I have won? I mean, what for example, this is all my reports, or all, all my services. What I have done uh, nowadays, and uh, you can do the same in your country. Understand? And uh, it uh, it not so important or necessary that have you got job? For example, this uh, for this year I have won this. Do you see twenty twenty four? This is one million forty four nine thousand tinge. What must I do? I must give them uh, uh, washing, washing them um, sheets, for example, like this. Of course, I will not wash myself self i will find some building who will wash and i will be like um, in, in the middle of government and in the middle of the business building and the same you can do for example this is numbers all of these are monies and uh, please try your task is now only just open the google and write uh government government trade tender or auction that's all okay so good luck for making a lot of money Thank you for attention. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Ariana. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. I will most definitely look that up. I have my plane. I come to Kazakhstan to visit. I will look that up. <laughs> okay, look. Yeah. When I have my private plane, I will come to Kazakhstan to visit you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come, come, come. I have yeah. to go. Let's in. Yeah, thank it's you, really Jaime. Fast. Thank you, Rihanna. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Ciao, -bye. Juanita, Rihanna, bye -bye. Andre. Bye-bye. Ciao. Uh, see ya. It was a pleasure to be with Africa. you. Thank you. Yeah, it's My great pleasure. meeting all the wonderful people. Teacher Nanny, how are you?
Are you yeah, you've been quiet today. It seems like you and me Nani, why are why are not you so energetic? Oh, there's a lot of background noise. Yeah. Who is that? Iqbal. There's a lot of back. Yeah, I I'm saying that today Nani is not energetic. Yeah. We can't hear. Four classes today. I have to teach IELTS the privately offline. Just all of a sudden the parents. Nani, we cannot hear you. You are talking by yourself. We cannot hear you. I can't. I can hear her. Nani, your voice is not clear, but your picture is clear. <laughs> As right, you hear. I want to say uh, bye, and I'm about to leave right now. So okay, see ya. Agree. How about now? Clear? Yeah, now is it clear? <laughs> okay, so we haven't seen each other for quite a while now. Yeah. Yeah. So school is starting on Monday for me too. Any? Oh, it started last Monday. Yeah, me too. Before I just work Monday to Thursday now, Monday to Saturday. Sure. Full. Can you tell me is there a lot of background noise by me? In who? By me. Who has a lot of background? Okay. Yeah, but it was great seeing all of you. And meeting all the new people, like Iqbal and uh, all of the Yeah, others. what are you saying? My, my mic is muted. Okay, it was great meeting all of you. And Andrea. Yeah, it is just... Nice to meet you, Juanita. Where, yeah. where do you come from? I'm yeah. from South Africa. Who is A? Where is South Africa? South Africa is too big. It's a very beautiful place. Island. Island. Small island. Small island. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah. And where are you from, Andrea? I am from South America. Wow. I would love to see your face. Your Okay, just a second. I'm, just actually, a I'm actually wearing a t-shirt from South Africa and America from 2021. I was supposed to go to America, Pennsylvania, and then COVID hit South Africa and we couldn't go. Okay. I've been just in Chile, Venezuela, Germany, uh, Holland, Sweden. Um, Montenegro, Mediterraneo, and no more, and Colombia. Okay. Give me just a second. I'll open my my cam. It's just I was okay. making it ready to go outside again. Just a second. <sighs> Look at me. Okay, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> He was just like me. I, can I tell you a secret? I fell asleep on the couch. And then when I realized I woke up, I woke up, I woke up and I realized, oh, I can't miss Jamie's talk, storytelling. I have to look in the <laughs> house. I was like, oh my but God. But I'm this. afraid, I'm afraid to say this session has been recorded and monitored. So you will have the recording available 24 hours. Yeah, I was like, you yeah, know, to put on a hat and lock in quickly. Yeah, I'm glad. I uh -huh. And Nani, yeah. why do you love Nani? Why do you what? Nani, I cannot hear you. You need to, uh, because Juanita can hear you, but I cannot hear you. I can just see your beautiful face. <laughs> You hear, Juanita, do you hear Nani? I hear her now. 
Oh, oh maybe yeah, it's my see. problem. Yeah, no, I can hear her now. Yeah, is your internet problem? Hello? <laughs> see, that's your internet problem, not mine. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just said the, the microphone has been giving problems the whole time dude. Yeah, it is common common yeah, happen in I the... had to in and out the whole time. Yeah. Yes. But Indrex, I know somebody from uh like I said from America. She's from Indiana. And I've oh, met Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. Her name is also Andrea Williams. Um so oh, yeah. Andrea. I am Andrea. Cardinals. You, yeah, I saw that you Cardinals. <laughs> so it's always great meeting. Cardinals, yeah. Cardinals. Um, I, I, I love meeting with new people. Me I too. Love it. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. It's for me. It's like Apple. I'm already traveling and any around the world. Uh, and yeah. like one of the one of the people said, a person a person said um on the storytelling that um she always wanted i think it's a one uh, if she said i always wanted to travel um like me also i haven't been like out of south africa i i still have that that dream inside of me to go abroad and i know that could being connected with all the uh, you wonderful people it's like taking me already there <laughs> you know yes and you yeah, you are in like, Colombia. you are in Colombia exact, right now. Look, exactly you are in my home, in my home. <laughs> yes exactly so um for me it's been the amazing being connecting with everyone germany and with teacher nanny and yeah all the others yeah it's, it's how many languages amazing. did you speak Juanita only two uh your native and english yes and which is your Afrika native? afrikaans afrikaans and english afrikaans means a lot it's of like, africans or just one Afri Afri afrikaans it's like yes we have like 14 languages in uh, south africa 14 uh, national languages afrikaans uh -huh. is like netherlands it's coming from uh -huh. netherlands so i speak afrikaans so if i speak to you in german did you catch it some of it netherlands yeah when you speak like when 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 Jaime speaks i can hear clearly what he wants to say it's because i need to improve my german is it no easy i don't know <laughs> no but there's a Holland, lot, of, there's Holland, a lot of German people. This is Holland, this is Germany. If you go Holland, yeah. you understand Holland, Germany. Yes. Holland and Netherlands. I've got a, a friend from Holland. And I, I know exactly, even if they speak Holland to me, I know what they are saying. Oh. Because oh, it's tell me, tell me in Africa, in Africa, how do you say, uh, I'm hungry and I need to go? What do you, how do you and, say? Ek is nou baie honger en ek moet nou gaan. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's totally difficult. Ek, ek is nou baie. Ek is nou baie honger. Ek is nou baie honger. Ek is nou baie honger. En ek moet nou gaan. Wow. Wow. Glorious. I'm, I'm very hungry now and I have to go. <laughs> and yeah. when I ask you, when i ask you it's already how are midnight you? here when in i Spanish? ask you how are you in Afrikaans? when i ask you andrea who, uh, how are you who can that meet you oh they want that meet you who can great who can that meet you so if you say and then if i ask you what is your name then i will ask what is your now and you what is say, your name? now my name is Andrea. My name oh, is Andrea. My name. Oh. My name is Nanny. Ek my, is name is my name is Juanita Johnson. My <laughs> name. Juanita Preston. 
Oh my god. Ek, ek, ek is van die mooie Suid-Afrika. Van die prachtige Suid-Afrika. Oh, that's many, awesome. that's many words awesome. that's similar to Netherlands and Netherlands and German. Yeah. They, yeah. they just add like a D or Z uh, while we just write the word. Sorry. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank I have to go. Bye bye. Nice to you. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, Juanita. Hello. Okay, bye bye. Hey, same where you are. Where are you? <laughs> yeah. Are you good? How was your meeting? Hello. I go.
Hello. 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 Good morning. Hello. Fuck you. <laughs> 